Hey guys, another easy, quick layout today. I am going to be using this blue cardstock that came in the Studio Calico June kit, and I am cutting out the middle part because I know I want to mat my photos using that same color so I want to I'm gonna use the blue as a frame around the outside of the layout but I didn't want to use that whole sheet of paper because I wanted to use it as a mat I'm gonna cut down this piece of paper here it is from let me see if I can find it I don't know where that paper, that chevron paper is from. Oh, there it is. It's Crate Paper, the Pier Carousel. And I'm scrapbooking these two photos of my nephew, Gabriel, and he is holding a piece. He is holding a slice of apple between his nose and his upper lip. And that is just the epitome of who he is. He's a nut. And uh, he will tell you he's a nut. He has no problem with that. I'm just trying to get the two pictures as close in size as possible. And it turns out that it, that's not going to work. So I'm actually going to scrapbook both photos. Um, both photos, I'm going to mat them, but I'm going to use their different sizes. And I'm going to use my matting tool. And I just showed you there that the matting tool is from Dylan's Laser Cut Designs. So I showed you, that's the, I get a, I get a question at every layout about that matting tool so I thought that I would just go ahead and show you where it's from and they do have an online store and some of my subscribers have ordered it from them and had no complaints I actually bought it at a local scrapbooking store but uh, there have been people who have ordered it from their online website and have been satisfied so I myself can't attest to that but I know from feedback from viewers that they have been able to order it online. So I'm adding that, those two photos, like I said, and I um, adhered that chevron paper to that blue background paper. And now I have some hipster die cuts from Basic Gray, and I don't know that I actually end up using any of them, but I'm going to go through them. And I actually don't think that I use any of them. No. I get rid of them all. I did have this idea right as I saw these. This, all of this is from the June Studio Calico kit. The background paper, that crate paper, and these, um, their simple stories, their urban traveler chipboard shapes. And as soon as I saw those chevron shapes on the bottom of that chipboard set, I knew I wanted to include them to create like a border up the side using them on this chevron paper so the colors don't line up exactly and they don't match so much on distance between each chevron but the distance between each chevron on the background paper is not exact either so um, it varies so I thought this was okay I really actually like the way this turns out something different and now I'm going to adhere my photos, and I'm going to adhere the first one down, and then I'm going to put the second one up on some foam adhesive. And I'm only going to put the foam in the center because I know I want to tuck some things behind it. So I'm getting a little smarter as I do my layering, um, understanding that I need to leave room. And, you know, and then I'm going to use these are stamps from the Scraptastic kit from, let me see, do I have... It's July. Just um, I believe they're July stamps from the Scraptastic kit. And that one says happy, 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 and I'm going to put that up there in the upper right, uh, left-hand corner. So I started with the Studio Calico kit, and then I pulled out some, in, some things from the Scraptastic kit. I thought I was going to use that arrow, and then I decide against it, but I am going to use this little, what looks like notebook paper, to do my journaling. And I actually, at first I thought I was going to use it to do my journaling, but I'm actually going to put the title of the layout on there, and then I'll do my journaling below it. I'm going to use some foam adhesive underneath the sort of notebook edges to pop some of them up off the page to give it a more notebookish kind of feel, you know, like when you rip a piece of paper out of a spiral-bound notebook. And then I put that little arrow thing there that says this is what fun looks like and then I'm using these I don't know if you'd call them enamel dots you can see the white and blue stripe I guess they're enamel dots or they're like plastic dots really I thought about using some 
of that washi tape, that wide washi tape that came in a previous Studio Calico kit, but that doesn't work out. So then I pull out my labels and shapes from Ellie's Studio, the Cameron collection, and I'm going to use a bunch of these to do some layers behind the two photos. So I'm just going to open them all up and go through them all and see which ones I like. I'm going to use one that says, this is awesome. There it is. And I'm going to use a circular one that says, you make me so happy. I really tried to use that circle one there that says love him, but it did, never worked out. But on on this pack, there should be, there we go. There's one that says, that one says, you make me so happy. And it brings that green up from the bottom. There's that green chevron across the bottom of the page. And so that green in the you make me so happy circle there brings that green up to the top of the, the page there. And now I'm adhering, I'm liking the layering, and I'm adhering everything down. I still wanted to use that circular love him, but I couldn't I couldn't get it to work on the page. So I had this one um that's from American Crafts Shoreline Rosette or Pinwheels. I'm not sure what American Crafts calls them. Paper flowers is what American Crafts calls them. They're from the surfboard collection. I had one left, so I decided that I was going to use it on this layout. I'm looking through my themed sticker sheets under the kids to see if there's any words or anything like that I want to bring into this layout. There's a there's a strip on that paper right there that says my mom thinks I'm awesome so I must be and I really wanted to use that there. Gabriel's grandmother took these photos and his mother shared them with me. I wasn't with him at the time but as soon as she showed them to me they so capture his personality so well. He's such a goofball that I knew right away that I had to scrapbook them so I made her email them to me. These are Imagines cardstock stickers. They don't actually give their collections titles, not on the page anyway, so I only have the manufacturer number, which is 400126, if that means anything. It'll be on the supply list on the blog as soon as I get the blog caught up. So now I'm, I'm sure that I want that circle there, so I'm going to finally adhere that down and put that sticker there from that Imagines sticker sheet that says Carefree. And then I'm going to look through the rest of the word stickers and other themed stickers in there. And I'm going to take a couple, or actually I think I just pull one off of that um, Echo Park paper that says silly. And see, I still really want to use that love him, but I can't get it to work. So here's some more of those striped plastic. I don't even know what you would call them. I didn't get a full pack of them. They came in a kit, so... I don't even know who makes them. I'll have to look that up and put it on the supply list. I really wanted that. I wanted to use that my mom thinks I'm awesome, so I must be phrase, but it didn't work out. Here's some more scraptastic uh, kit, uh, stamps from the club, from their um, scrapbooking kit club. And I'm going to use this. It's kind of, it looks like, I don't know how you would describe it. It's kind of, it's just kind of this weird pattern. Uh, lines and little squiggly lines and things like that. So I used it in the in the top and the bottom of the layout. And now I'm thinking about the title. And the title is going to be Apple of His Mother's Eye. And I'm going to put that on that notebook die cut at the bottom there. And I'm going to use the two colors from this, this Echo Park Here and Now paper. This turned out to be the best place, I thought, to put the title. So I'm just picking up all of the all of the stickers there and putting them down. There's a box pre-printed on that notebook die cut that is not straight, but then it has grid paper behind it that is straight, so that was kind of bothering me. So I had to line those letters up on the grid because that made more sense to me. And then I actually had to take a marker and put the apostrophe between the R and the S because it's of his mother's eye, so it's possessive. So I had to put that apostrophe there because it would have bothered me otherwise. So I did just a little bit of journaling about the fact that he was showing off his new trick of holding the apple slice up there on his nose, between his nose and his 
his upper lip there. And then I'm going to use another stamp, but I'm going to test it first just to make sure this stamp pad that I'm using, it's a Versacolor in cyan. Um, it's a little bit dry, so I wanted to just make sure that I love this speech bubble was going to show up the way I wanted it. And then I'm going to use some red enamel dots just to bring out the red a little bit more. And that's the final look at the layout. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really simple today. Not a lot of work went into it. Um, but I really like it. I like the way it turned out. So I hope you guys did too. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you next time. Take care.